Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. Today we're in Allen, Washington, and we're continuing on this series talking about these exterior homes. We built three of these houses in a row, but we don't want to look like a tract builder, even though we're a spec builder. You might say we're more of a custom spec builder because a lot of the details that we do are very much customized. So if you watch the other video, we talked about the thin brick and the Dorkin Delta dry and lath. In this particular video, we're gonna talk about installing this Azek open joint cladding. The color incidentally happens to be Cypress. So let's get into the details. Let's go ahead and talk about the aesthetics, the architectural side first. So instead of that house being brick, in this house, we decided again to go pretty monolithic across the bottom. The way a buyer's eyes work is they see masses more than details. And so they're gonna see that this is a large band of brown, and then it's horizontal. I like going with horizontal here because the front of this house, just like that one, is so tall, it tends to bring the eye down a little bit. If we talked much about the rest of the uh, cladding on this house, you'll see that we also went with a lot of horizontal bands, but we broke that up by burying the different uh, exposures with the lap siding that we have. And here's the Cypress Azet cladding. I'll show you a little bit about what goes on behind that. We're in Washington State and lo and behold the uh, the sun's actually come out. So you might not believe it but we do have to deal with the sun from time to time. So what we used is this Benjamin Obdike WRB. This is the outside of it. Feels like a very pretty heavy coarse woven material but we've installed a lot of types of house wrap this is by far the the best quality feel of one that we've uh, installed but this is rated for ultraviolet radiation exposure so as the sun comes down if you ever leave something out in the sun for say a couple of summers it bleaches out that's because of the uv radiation House wrap, in general, isn't designed to be exposed to ultraviolet radiation, so it'll degrade. If you've got a house with uh, a typical house wrap on it, that will become brittle and flake away. That's part of the reason we actually install cladding on houses, is so that we maintain the material integrity of the house wrap. In this case, this is designed for exposure to that UV radiation. With an open joint cladding, this will get some modicum of ultraviolet exposure. So you have to think through the entire process in order to have a house that lasts a long time. If you look closely back behind here, you'll see that we use their rain screen system. It's basically a plastic product and that ends up holding this material away from the rain screen and that allows for airflow to go through there. It allows for drying and draining but the whole system has to be compatible. There's different sizes of this tape, but you can see this is probably a four foot-ish roll. This is the tape that you wanna use for all of your seams. Again, it's gonna be black. The eye pretty much won't see this behind the brown. The brown pretty much just acts monolithically again for the eye. If you look here, you'll see where the plugs were. I'll show you the screws and the plugs in a second. But as we come around, there's a couple of different ways to finish your outside corners. You can weave them where you alternate your uh, pieces. There's little strips that you can put in and hold your pieces short. As a spec builder, we have to think in terms of speed. This was already pretty labor intensive. We had the concrete that goes up to this ish point above that was wood frame to get all of that to blend together. We had to take pressure treated strips and try to fur that out so that the plane that our WRB went on would be flat. That was already a lot of work. You're drilling into concrete, you're trying to get everything plumb. There's a lot of work to it. So to get these two courses to line up perfectly, it's a pretty tall order. And on a spec home, that's not that important. So what we did is we went with a cap over uh, solution. And to get the color to match, we just went to Sherwin-Williams. We took a piece of this, matched it. If you're staring at it and you're up close to it, you'll see that it doesn't blend perfectly. But if you're far enough away and you look at the whole palette, it's close enough. We also have to think in terms of what our sequencing is. So typically, you wouldn't be painting as 
intermittent parts of a process. But in this particular case, we had to. We want black. We wanted things to go away. So on this face of this piece of trim, we pre-painted it black. Imagine if you were a painter and you had to come in and try to get behind there. It would never work. And I wanted to be very careful of this product that we didn't get overspray and dribbles on it and things like that. So that's why we ended up doing that first. Then as we look at the front door, there were so many elevation changes, uh, depth changes that we had to factor in. So the solution here was to add, you might call it a back band, that's more of a finished carpentry term, but we took that interior solution, a back band, and wrapped the sides and then the top ends up just being flashing. The reason we did that is because then we could have a full piece of the uh, AZEC board over the top. So this piece is just a little bit shy of this. It just looks better. So these are the screws that go through the AZEC. They go through those battens and then fasten into wood. These are the plugs. So that plug goes right over the top of this. And again, if you just take a step all the way back, look at the house in its full, all of those details went into this. When a buyer shows up, they're just gonna look at it and see that it looks good. They may not know why, but they know that it just feels right. And that brings us to the end of this video on the AZEC cladding. As you can see, there was a lot of details that went into it, but as a spec builder, we want to give a reason for somebody to buy our houses. It has to be different from what the other ones are. It's kind of interesting. I get to keep my ears open when subcontractors show up. They've been responding to this. They think it's pretty cool. So even that is another benefit of building a little bit outside of the norm. I think it keeps subcontractors interested. They're not just doing the same things every day. This took a lot of detail. Wasn't that easy to install, but I think you'll agree that it was worth it. And our hope is that buyers will agree too. Well, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not the only person on the Build Show. There's about nine other contributors that cover a whole gamut of information. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the Build Show.